Christmas desserts. There's plenty of recipes on YouTube. They've been done to death. I have nothing to add until I had the bright idea of combining two of them. Take gingerbread men, eggnog ice cream, bind them together and the eggnog ice cream sandwich. Take that, Rosanna Panzino. Please don't be offended. I really would like to do a crossover with you. To make our sandwich, we must first construct the gingerbread cookie dough. So grab yourself a stand mixer and crack in one egg. Beat it nice and good. Okay, set this thing to low and let's add some wet ingredients. One quarter cup of milk. 12 tablespoons or one and a half sticks of melted unsalted butter. And a quarter cup of molasses. Uh, when you make this recipe, turn off the stand mixer. Don't make the same mistake I made. Next, add three quarters of a cup of brown sugar. Now, let's add our spices. Let's toss in two teaspoons of ground ginger. One teaspoon of ground cinnamon. And half a teaspoon of ground clove. Half a teaspoon of salt. Set the mixer back to low. Scrape down the sides of the bowl. Then add one teaspoon of baking soda. Not baking powder, baking soda. Some of you are confused. When should you use baking soda and baking powder? Use baking soda when you're working with acidic ingredients. Such acidic ingredients are buttermilk, lemon juice, and in our case, brown sugar. Oh, and, uh, no. That is definitely not a mistake. But yeah, brown sugar is considered an acidic ingredient. Sure, it won't melt through solid steel, or maybe it can, it just takes a really, 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 really long time. And finally, add three cups of all-purpose flour. Next, transfer our cookie dough to a zip-top bag and let it firm up in the fridge for at least an hour. You're a mean one. Mr. Grinch. Okay, it's been an hour. Now set the oven for 350 degrees. Did we invade your country and steal its oil? The number you're looking for is 175 degrees Celsius. Okay, our dough did its thing in the fridge. And now we need to roll this thing out. So flour your work surface. Now grab a rolling pin and roll it out to about a quarter of an inch. I really hate rolling pins. Instead, I like to use a French rolling pin. I lost it and I don't know where it is, okay? What you thought of that, huh? Okay, it looks about a quarter of an inch. Yeah, I know it's out of frame on this camera. I am not going to risk it again. All right, once it's rolled out, get yourself a nice two inch dough cutting round. Give it a nice firm press. Take a spatula, a really thin spatula, and transfer it to a parchment lined baking tray. Uh, set the scraps aside for now. We'll roll those out later. Okay, scraps are all remolded back in. Rinse, repeat. Stick our cookies in our 350 degree oven and let them cook for 15 to 20 minutes. You really are a okay, once the 15 minutes are up, take them out of the oven, lay them onto a cooling rack and let them Cool. All right, now the cookies are nice and cool. We can finally begin construction on our sandwich. Now for this, you'll need some eggnog ice cream. 
And hopefully, like me, you won't have to go from grocery store to grocery store trying to find a pint of this damn stuff. So grab yourself a nice big ice cream scoop, plop it on our cookie, put another cookie on top of it, smash it down without trying to crack it, and voila. There we go, folks, a beautiful and lovely Christmas ice cream sandwich. Yeah, I know it's not there. I just don't want the ice cream to melt. You'll see it in a later scene. Making a super delicious holiday treat by combining two already awesome holiday treats. And that's how you stand out on YouTube. And not by uploading four boring Minecraft videos, then making a fifth video talking about how YouTube does not care about their small creators. This has been Jay's Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ making cooking fun and meaning it this time. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, smash the like button. If you really liked the video, get a subscriber and hit the bell notification icon. I upload every Thursday. Don't forget to support me on Patreon and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Huh, getting butthurt about my small YouTubers comment, eh? Not everyone enjoys Roblox YouTube poops, you know.